my name is Cameron Hume. Um, I'm part of the 3D biomedical project called Caracol. One of the problems we've experienced with bioprinting is that all bioprinting nowadays needs to be done inside a laminar flow cabinet. The problem with this is that it's very restrictive. You've only got a small opening into the cabinet um, and all the work has to be done inside that cabinet. What our team is trying to do is make a standalone bioprinter that can work outside of a cabinet as well as increase the inc control over environment parameters such as temperature, humidity and the carbon dioxide concentration within the printer. This has all been done through use of a HEPA filter which is a high efficiency particle arrestor filter to remove any contaminants from the air and produce a laminar flow over the chamber. We also have some environmental heaters that will increase the temperature of the environment as well as a CO2 tank that is going to work to increase the CO2 level in the tank in the chamber to 5%. Our project was set up to facilitate this process by making it easier to access the printing chamber and to also take up less space in the laboratory. The hope for our printer is to facilitate the production of tissues that mimic native tissues within the human body. These can be used for direct in, uh, transplant, such as organ transplant, or for uh, drug testing, which might eliminate the need for animal testing in the pharmaceutical industry. Um, oh geez. Hi, my name is um, Cameron Hume. I've really said um and it's been like one second. Oh uh, the, uh, the, the app lost again. That was terrible. Um, uh, Need that's not a sentence. Um, the hope for <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to do so much editing. Um.